So the next thing that we're going to discuss is backing up your library. You've put in all this time into warping these tracks and organizing them and putting them into playlists. The last thing that you'd want is to have all that work be for nothing. So there's two primary ways that we can back this up using external storage or a cloud layer. I try to use both personally, but that's up to you. Um, the first way that we can do this is just do it through removable storage. So I have a thumb drive currently plugged into my Mac here. And what I'm going to do is just locate this folder where my library is contained. So I'm going to right click it in live and show in finder. And we have the folder tracks here. I'm going to copy and paste that to a thumb drive. Not only is that going to take the warping and the clip settings and everything that you have, but it's also going to take the original files as well. So uh, dragging this back into any Ableton browser, you can pull in a clip as long as the version of Ableton was the same or a later version. So that's the first way that we could back this up. So uh, we're going to cancel this just for the sake of time, and I'll show you the second way. So the second way is going to be a cloud layer. My choice here is Google Drive. What I have is I have Google Drive pointed at my library. So you can see here that I've checked off the, the folder tracks. What this means is that anytime I warp a song and drag it into this tracks folder here, Google Drive will actually upload the pairs of files. So it will upload the .alc, the Ableton Live Clip, and the mp3 file that it's referencing or the WAV file that it's referencing. So what happens again is anytime that you drag a file into your library from here on out, as long as Google Drive is pointed at the library, it will automatically upload that file to the cloud. So the cloud layer is a very efficient way to get this process done. As long as you have connection to the internet, Google Drive is going to automatically sync this folder every time. If you're in an airport or not around Wi-Fi or the internet, uh, you can still work, you can still process these tracks, throw them in your folders, and then the next time that you connect to the internet, Google Drive will sync that. It's important to remember that because if you do this over a Wi-Fi hotspot, through a phone, uh, you could be using your data on your phone and things like that. So keep that in mind. This is, uh, as you can see, an extensive library. It's 18 gigs of data. Uh, you wouldn't want to sync that over a phone. So do keep that in mind. You might want to disable the Google Drive sync if you are going to connect to a hotspot if this hasn't been synced in a while. But that's how I back up files. Uh, I definitely recommend the cloud layer. I think it's the easiest way to go.